adaptive learning classroom is designed such that it compels students to participate because of the round tables, for example. And I think that's important for what I'm doing with the students because academic writing is sometimes viewed as something that happens in isolation. But really, academic writing doesn't happen in isolation. We often call upon peers to help us with our work. This is uh, an environment that allows the students to sit next to each other, share their papers without papers falling on the floor, so they can spread out, they can work well together. Here we've got the basket and the garbage. So what I'd like you to do for a minute is think about which picture corresponds to which sentence. Which way I wrote on Yeah. Two is A. Two is A and Here. It's the first time I'm, work, I'm, I'm learning in this type of classroom. Two is A. Two. We can work in group, and mm -hmm. in small group we can just share what we are learning. They feel they can ask for help from a peer, they can pose questions, they don't feel uncomfortable not knowing something, they're helping each other with the tools in the classroom too. Having to share computers has an impact on the camaraderie among students as well because they decide who will be at the keyboard, who will be the talker, who's going to direct. You don't have that in a conventional classroom where they're not sitting at tables and where they're not sharing computers. Students have misconceptions about language. They, they think certain things about how language works and then I might say, well, no, it doesn't work like that. Check. Just for fun, test what I say. Go to Lex Tutor to the concordance cert. Type in comma that. See how many hits you get. Do it now, like right now. That way you can actually check the idea online right away and to confirm this idea. Then we can project from a student's computer for the whole class and everybody can see that, yeah, I had that misconception. How many instances of comma that do you get? Many? No. What does that mean for your own writing? <laughs> it means I don't want to see commas before that. Does it exist? It's yeah. the immediacy that I think has had a really good impact on students' learning. You have 10 minutes to understand your sentence and to illustrate it on your board. If you have questions, the particular let me activity know. I like is the, the activity where we write on the board. No, no, there is my no sister link. has no. two children. My sister? It's funny to write on the wall. <laughs> it's the first time they, uh, we can write on the wall and uh, uh, try to uh, discuss with other students what she they write. Oh, no, maybe, no. Uh, maybe she has, we maybe don't she know. has not. We don't yeah. know, yeah. We don't know. Yeah. Having the wall boards, uh, allowed the students to do their own drawings, but then they had a chance to see how well they understood from other people's drawings and they could critique their peers' drawings as well and say, well, your drawing doesn't really illustrate the difference, which is important as well. We got a time to actually think about, we got time to actually write on the board, and we got time to, uh, to listen to what other people are thinking about, and uh, that's what really makes this course really interesting to me. It's my sister who lives in Toronto who has two children. That would be sentence number one. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah, the same is just one, one sister. And There's only upside to this. You do something in the, the active learning classroom, it can go back into a conventional classroom after in a different way. This has been one of my most enriching teaching experiences. Oh. <laughs> We've had a breakthrough. <laughs>